hello everyone this is fahim and in today's video i'm going to show you how you can install mysql workbench in your windows operating system now for this video i'm going to use the latest version of windows and that is windows 11 but if you are following this tutorial for your windows 10 machine the same process should work fine all right so first of all we need to open any kind of browser and simply search for mysql workbench and we have to go to the first website that should be the official website like mysql.com slash products slash workbench and if we go into that site we would get the official website of mysql and then i have to go to download section so simply click on downloads and then simply scroll down until you reach here mysql community gpl downloads simply click on this and then simply click mysql installer for windows and after clicking on that uh, make sure that microsoft windows is selected in the operating system selection and make sure to download this version which is larger in file size for example this is 428 428 megabyte almost so make just make sure that you are downloading that file which is larger in size all right simply click on download and for now i can simply ignore this so no thanks just start my download and the download process has started Then I would install from MySQL servers this the latest version of MySQL server. Simply click on this to select it and click this right arrow button. It would be listed in the products to be installed section. And then I would install from the applications tab from the MySQL workbench the latest workbench. And then I would also install the MySQL shell. After that, I can simply click on next and simply click on execute. It would download the necessary things and prepare itself to install the rest of them. If you get installation prompt for this kind of Microsoft Visual C++, simply click agree and then install all of them. As simple as that. After all of them uh, installed finished, I would receive the green checkbox like this. Then don't click cancel it because I haven't finished installing everything. Simply click next and then click execute. After finishing them, simply click next, then click next. You can keep it everything as it is and simply click next, click next. Now you have to provide your MySQL root password. Make sure to remember it because you will need it whenever you would like to open the MySQL workbench and work on SQLs. All right. So, for example, I can simply use a simple password. It's a one 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 one, and to retype password one 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 one. But make sure to use a good password and click next. And I can keep everything as it is for now and simply click next. And yes, I would like to grant full access. So, simply click next and click execute after finishing all of them simply click finish and click next and finish that's it so it has opened the mysql shell and the mysql workbench as well you can simply stop all of them 
I have to do some more things right now. Simply go to your this PC, the local disk where you have installed your Windows operating system and you have installed MySQL. And then go to program files and from here go to MySQL, go to MySQL server, go to binary folder and copy the directory. Click on Windows menu and type PMV. It will select edit the system environment variables. Simply click here, click environment variables, click path, click edit, click new and paste it here. And then I would need to also copy the MySQL shell uh, binary. So go to MySQL shell binary, copy the address, simply add those here. Okay, okay, okay. And now I can simply open the MySQL workbench. For example, this is the MySQL workbench. When you click on this default local instances, it would ask you for the password, the root password. So in that case, you have to provide your root password. It would also prompt you whether you want to save the password. If you want, you can save that also. And after that, you will get this type of MySQL workbench. Now, in this case, you would get the window like this, and this would be white, not like this Dracula theme. I have customized my workbench, so therefore it looks different. But whatever, if you want to close this, you can simply click here to hide that. And this would be the administration panel, and this would be the schemas panel. By default, you would get this C's schema, which MySQL workbench uses. All right. So that's it. If you have any question, you can let me know. And if you want to follow me, you can do that in GitHub, GitLab, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I'll provide all of the link in the description box. So that's it. Thank you, everyone.